try to paint from life, Airbnb. Uh, behind the Airbnb, there's this little meadow, and so I try to paint uh, from observation. So first I try to uh, knock in a sky, um, use a couple of different blues that have had good luck with sky. Oh, by the way, this is Fabriano hot press paper, so uh, quite different than cold press. And uh, Anyway, so I was sort of happy that the sky was uh, looked a little bit like sky, or at least I thought it would look like sky once I got a bunch of trees in front of it. Though it was, uh, you know, not the most beautiful sky I ever painted. Then I tried to uh, add in the various planes that uh, are between me and the horizon line, and uh, hoping to achieve some kind of depth. And uh, here I'm painting from observation as opposed to uh, certain techniques you can use to paint uh, beautiful trees. So, uh, you know, if you kind of use those techniques, you could, you know, ignore the trees and just paint beautiful trees in there. But, uh, you know, if you try to paint from observation, it's a great exercise of, you know, looking uh, real hard at the subject and then trying to depict it on the uh, paper. So I was sort of going that route, even though, you know, painting uh, uh, textbook trees probably would have looked a lot more beautiful at the end. Anyway, so uh, I, tried, I decided to put a little, little dots and stuff in the foreground, thinking that might, uh, you know, look like riveting focus and uh, make the foreground look like it was in front. Uh, I did a lot of, uh, you know, random strokes or abstract, hoping to imply uh, shape and form, and uh, I tried to, uh, you know, depict the uh, trunks and various elements back there, and uh, that's why I ended up with art fun, paint from life, plain air painting.